What up, everybody? It's your boy PTK Blam back with another video. Uh, first off, as I always start my videos, I want to say thank you guys. Thanks to the community, the Xbox community, specifically for the continued support on the channel. Uh, you guys always show love and come out on Saturdays to the Shop Podcast, which, by the way, will be airing live this Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern or 5 p.m. Pacific time this Saturday. Going to try and get a a really good guest on. You know, we always have great conversations. Just want to say thank you for the continued support and my drive to a thousand subscribers. I'm really trying to hit a thousand subscribers before my birthday, which is in December. So let's make it happen, people. If you're not already following me on Twitter, if you're not already subscribed on YouTube, please go do that. Please leave a thumb. Uh, please leave a thumbs up here on the video. Uh, just appreciate you guys continued support. So uh, on to today's video. So. As you guys can see in the thumbnail, I'm talking about Record today and my first impressions. Now, the game's been out for a little bit now. It's been out for a few days now, and um, I've gotten a chance to play the game. Huge shout out to HP and Black Tiger. I did win a contest uh, or giveaway, sorry, and I was able to get the game. So that's awesome, but I'm really, really enjoying the game. My family loves it. Uh, my kids loves it. My wife is really, really in love. She loves Jewel as a female lead character. She loves all of the bots. So it's a really, really interesting game. So I just want to kind of give my uh, first impressions on the game. So initially, ReCore for me was already really high on my list. I mean, you know, you go back six, seven, eight months before E3, ReCore was always high on my list of games, my most anticipated games for this year. And after playing it, it rightfully so was really high on the list because, I mean, this game, as an older gamer, you know, the platformers, the Metroidvania type games, I love it. It does everything right as far as platforming. You got just the right amount of difficulty. The graphics are beautiful. The game is created beautiful. I love the atmosphere. Um, you know, I love the setting. You know, it's kind of desolate. Um, it's not a whole lot going on, but it's a pretty much like an abandoned planet. You know, you're like the only human there. So, um, you know, what can you... What, what can you do about that? So, and I also just love the fact that the, the setting, um, the way Jewel interacts with, uh, you know, the bots. It kind of reminds me of a Wally, where you know you you can under the bots don't talk, but they convey you know emotion really really well, and they did a really good job at doing that. So I'm very very interested. I'm still kind of early into the game. I haven't. I've probably put a couple hours into the game thus far, so I'm pretty early into the story. So I'm really, really um, hoping to see and hear more of the story or the backstory of the game because um, just so far it seems very interesting. So now I want to move on to like the mechanics. The gameplay mechanics are crisp. They're they're phenomenal in my, in my opinion. Crisp. Um, I don't find myself having too much trouble. Um, the learning curve is definitely a steep learning curve. Some of those dungeons are pretty challenging but like I said I'm an older I'm an older gamer so I appreciate that you know a lot of a lot of these games uh, kind of reminds me of Ori in the way where the game is is challenging but it's not dark souls overwhelmingly challenging like holy shit um, I cannot complete this I'm done with this game so it's it does take some trial and error to get through some of those dungeons but I do appreciate that it's very rewarding and satisfying when you do get to that point where you complete a dungeon you know you get the core whatever you're trying to get so and uh, I also uh, one of the things about the game uh, that surprised me was the, the level of customization for the actual bots. It's awesome. There's a there's a ton of customization. Um, there's a ton of different things you can do. Crafting um, a lot of RPG elements, but which I wasn't sure because when the game before the game came out, we got very very little information on what type of game it was going to be. Uh, I had there were some rumblings uh, behind the scenes, and I heard from a few people that it would be like an open world adventure slash RPG, kind of a hybrid with all of those elements all tied together. So it kind of ended up being true. Um, so, you know, kind of more more so an an open world. You know, you can go in do the dungeons. There's obviously some crafting, some RPG elements. So that was actually a pleasant surprise for me. I do enjoy. Um, you know, crafting, it can get a little bit grindy because you do have to go back to areas to, you know, to grind up, to get cores and to get materials, to get certain things. But what game isn't that way, you know, nowadays? So I appreciate it. It's not it's not grinding to the point to where it's like you're loathing going in another area. You know, it's not something like uh, Vanilla Destiny or something like that, that you just kind of you kind of over it. You know, you do it three or four times. You're like, oh, my God, I don't want to do this again. So it's very, very rewarding, though, when you do um, get to the point to where you know you've gathered enough materials or you've got enough cores. Um, I feel like the the bots and the AI are, are work well together. I don't feel like one's stronger than the other. You know, as far as the enemies versus the bots, I feel like they're 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 pretty on it. Uh, they're pretty on an even playing field. So uh, that's another thing that I appreciate. Overall, 
Um, I think the game is fantastic. Now, there have been some some gripes from some people. People were talking about the load times in the game, which I didn't really see that that was an issue. I mean, the load time was maybe 20, 30 seconds, which isn't a big deal um, in my opinion. So I didn't think that was that bad to begin with. But they did send a tweet out today. There will be patches out here within the next couple of days to fix and clear up those load time issues some people were experiencing. So it's glad to see that they're on top. Armature is on top of the game. Uh, Microsoft is fully back in the game. So, you know, those patches will come out uh, fairly quick. So it's glad to see that they take care of that really fast rather than wait, you know, two or three months down the line and say, okay, here's a patch. So I'm really pleased with the game. My family loves it. Like I said, I'd give it a solid 8.5, 9 out of 10 in my, in, in my opinion. I can't really see anything lower than an 8.5 from this game. If you like platforming, you know, if you like uh, JRP, o, a JRP, JRPG, or just RPG open world type elements, this definitely is a game for you. On top of the fact that it's priced accordingly, uh, you you know, you get a good 10, 12 hours out of this game. It's priced at 40 bucks. It's not a $60 game, definitely. So I feel like they did. They hit the nail on the head. Armature, Microsoft hit the nail on the head. It was above my expectations. Uh, since I went into the game not really knowing much about it, but it definitely cleared that hurdle. So if you're on the fence right now about purchasing ReCore, please go support this game. These type of IPs is what Microsoft and Xbox One needs. It's what makes the system different. You know, a lot of times as Xbox fans, at the end of the 360 generation, we kind of got caught up in the Call of Duty cycle. We got Call of Duty, Gears, Halo, Forza. And that was pretty much all we were getting. So Microsoft and Xbox have done a fantastic job of trying to bring these new experiences to the Xbox One console. So if you're on the fence, please go out and show your support and purchase this game. Uh, like I said before, it's fantastic. 9 out of 10, no lower than 8.5 in my opinion. So I'm not going to hold you guys up too longer, but that was just I wanted to get my first impressions out on the game because I think it's a fantastic game. I'm hoping we'll see a sequel somewhere down the line. Um, and maybe they can build on the platform that they already have. So that's all I got for you, everybody. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe to this video, everybody. Uh, we're racing towards that thousand subscriber goal. Like I said, I appreciate the love and the continued support. I got a bunch coming. I so much that I want to talk to you guys about, but I'm going to save that for another video or I'll save it for maybe even a podcast on Saturday. So I appreciate you guys' love and support. And I am out of here. Bye, record people. Go pick it up. You guys take it easy. Have a good day.